All right, hey guys, uh, I know some of you need some help here with getting some more names and numbers. Uh, whether you are a new trainee who slacked on the assignment and didn't put forth the work to build that base in the beginning, um, or you've been around on the, on the team for a little bit and you just are in a little bit of a standstill and you feel like you need more names and numbers, this video is for you. So first of all, with expectations, um, we wanna get up to mission 100. Everybody knows a ton of people. You guys have a thousand Snapchat or Facebook friends. You know, the average American knows over a thousand people. And so you're connected to those many people. You can find a lot of names and numbers. So we say mission 100, get 200 names and numbers as soon as possible, and then build up to there and even way past that with recommendations. Uh, the second key is to be a solution finder. Don't make excuses. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. So don't be a wimp, find names and numbers, overcome some adversity, expand that, uh, that circle of influence there and really help uh, think of more people. So being a solution finder, um, you know, whether you, you go on Snapchat or Facebook or you text people or you ask mom and dad or you sit down with your siblings, you know, do these things that will really help you. Uh, a couple examples are Lake LaChapelle on our team. Um, he didn't get a chance to call all of his neighbors. He didn't have their numbers. So he actually went around in his own neighborhood set up seven demos that night on a Sunday night. People like Anna Van Alstein, who didn't have a lot of numbers, but knew a lot of people. So she messaged people on Facebook with a quick message, got over 50 names and numbers of parents uh, with, within, within one night. People like JC Brandle on the team, who used Snapchat, just sent individual snaps to all of her friends, and literally within an hour had 54 mom's numbers within, uh, within an hour. We sent out a nice little snap, her being goofy, a picture of herself, and uh, saying a phrase. Um, so use social media to get more names and numbers. You know, you may not have all your friends' numbers and obviously your friends' parents' numbers, but you have connections to them um, on social media. So the very simple post, the very simple, and by the way, you don't post globally on like a big group chat or on your Facebook wall or on your Snapchat story on, uh, hey, give me your mom's number. This is individual asking them for help it's a very simple text. I'll, I'll say it a couple times so you get it. But it's, hey, kind of random. Can I have your mom's cell phone? I have a quick question for a scholarship I'm working on. That's it. If you say more, you confuse them. If you say more, you're sketching them out. If you have them talk to their parents, they're going to say, hey, mom, Jason wants to sell you knives. You want some? They're going to say, uh, no, no, we're, we're good on knives. So you have to just keep it simple. Let you do the explaining on the phone to the parent and let the product do the selling for you on the demo. So again, the simple text that you either put on the Snapchat, you either send individually on Instagram or on Facebook messages, or even a text to your friend for the parent's number is, hey, kind of random, can I have your mom's cell phone? I have a quick question for a scholarship I'm working on. All right, so you should be typing that out. So hey, kind of random, can I have your mom's cell phone? I have a quick question for a scholarship I'm working on. So you say it's for a scholarship, people love helping people out towards school. Whether you're in school or not, okay, you're working on your own scholarship, scholarship for you, a scholarship for your kids, a scholarship for paying for school. Even if you don't win the All-American Scholarship, you're using that money you're earning towards school most likely. So when you say scholarship, it really changes the mentality of, hey, I get to help this person out to earn money for school, which is the same thing you're doing for your job here. Um, and then... Finally, you know, th this, this job is amazing. Don't, don't let this little roadblock stop you. Don't let you slacking on the original assignments and training stop you. Don't, don't let your, your limiting beliefs stop you because there's, there's a situation for every person, whether no matter what your, your holdup is, you can find names and numbers and you can get them. And what if this one moment of you deciding to step outside your comfort zone and get more names and numbers sets you up for a path of success and an amazing life? I worked really hard on this. I had 243 names and numbers in training. I worked really hard on this. It helped me have a $21,000 summer, have a $200,000 plus college career, making over 100 grand throughout college, running a branch office, graduating being a DM, never looking back and loving life and being financially set and super happy in life right now, all because I worked hard on the names and numbers assignment. So I challenge you to make it happen, overcome some fear, and... Be a champion because we're looking for champions on the, on the team. You can totally do it. Good luck.